Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how I cover up my Port Wednesday birthmark. So how some people get Port Wednesday birthmarks, it has to do with their blood vessels. So the chemical signals in the tiny blood vessels, they pretty much they don't turn off. And that's what causes the blood vessels to get bigger. And then the extra blood, it causes the redness on the skin. So I've went through so many foundations, concealers, color correctors to find one that wasn't too heavy, but it would cover. Now my birthmark is pretty hard to cover up because it does have purple in it. Today it's not too bad. Some days it's more on the red pinkish side and some days it's more like a dark purple. When it's a dark purple, it's very hard to cover up. But the product that I use, it's Dermablend, and I use the cover cream. And it looks like this. And it comes with a little spatula, which is really cute. But that's what it looks like. And then, so the reason why I was trying to avoid buying this product was because you have to buy the setting powder for it to be able to work. And I'm like, okay, that is a lot of money. I don't feel like buying that. So I tried finding cheaper products. None of the cheap products worked on me except one, but it's very thick. But this is the setting powder that I use. It's just a loose setting powder. I'll show y'all what it looks like. This is the one I use. So I'm going to show you all the cheaper version. This was $20 from Amazon. Now I thought, okay, if this can cover up a tattoo, this can definitely cover up my birthmark. So this is what this product is. And this actually does a very good job, but it's so thick, I can't deal with it. Because I want to be able to use a product that I don't have to do like a full face of makeup with, you know. So I'll show you all what this looks like in case you want to buy this. This also comes with a little spatula, but pretty much it comes with a light concealer and a dark one. And it comes with a little container and you put your mixture in there. So I'm going to prime my face. So I just use that e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. That's all I use for that. Just put a little bit. So what I do is I just take the spatula and I just scoop out some product and I just build it up. So you can either apply with a spatula or it says it recommends to warm it up in your fingers. So I just go like that and then The one thing that I really love about this product is it does not dry fast because the other one that I showed y'all, it dries so fast. I have to work so fast and I'm slow, so I need to be able to take my time. But I just build it up. Sometimes I will use a color corrector, sometimes I won't. Oh my gosh, I covered it up. Here, let me see if I can uncover it real quick. Okay, there is this dot on my nose right here. You can't really see because I really covered it up. I've been getting surgery for 12 years, laser surgery. And out of those 12 years, they could not remove that little dot on my nose. And it drives me crazy. <laughs> but I just keep building it up and covering it. A lot of people ask me why do I cover it up and I shouldn't cover it up. The reason why I cover it up is because people are very rude. I cannot go in a store without covering it up. It's that bad. You, I mean, it's mostly adults. I've only had one kid ask me about it, which, I mean, kids, I don't really care that much about because, I mean, they don't know. But adults are the worst. I will have them ask me if I've gotten burned on the face. And they don't ask me in a nice way too. They're very rude about it. And they ask me if I've gotten abused before, if I've gone to a fight, just all sorts of things. And it hurts, like I just can't, I can't explain the feeling. Unless you have one, you've been through it. It's the worst feeling in the world when someone asks you that. It's so, it's so rude, honestly. 
I know a lot of people, they cover it up because they get bullied, which that's really sad. And so I'm just putting foundation. And the reason why I like this stuff, I don't have to put a thick layer of foundation on my face. But with the bullying thing, I've never gotten bullied. I got very lucky. I went to a very good elementary school. Like I went there from kindergarten till sixth grade. Everybody was super nice to me. Nobody was ever rude to me. I mean, if they talked about me, about me, it was behind my back. But I mean, no one judged me for having a birthmark. So I, I mean, I'm very thankful. I went to school with very nice people. But high school, that is a different story. <laughs> I will never be thankful for that school. I hate that school. But that's when I saw people's true colors. People are very mean. But yeah, it's hard um, to deal with one, honestly. I remember people at school. <laughs> When I was in high school, they would ask me, oh my gosh, what happened to your face? And I'm like, nothing, what happened to yours? <laughs> no, I didn't say that, I'm too shy. But, so I'm gonna be applying this concealer. It's the Born This Way. I'm in the shade Snow, cause I'm very pale. But to have a birthmark, you have to have thick skin, and I do not. <laughs> like, if you know me, you know I'm the most sensitive person ever. You say one mean thing, I'll cry. So it was very hard for me to deal with all the rude comments. Well, it's just how people are. You just have to get over it. So I'm just going to be building it up and adding more before I set it with the powder. But I remember one time... <laughs> My mom and I were in the store and oh, I have an eyelash. Oh, no, no, no. My mom and I were in the store and there was one girl working there. So she kept staring at me. This was the day I decided I don't feel like wearing makeup and it was really dark. And I was like, whatever, I don't care. So when people stare at me, I know what they're thinking. And they're probably thinking I got burned or something like that or abused. So she just keeps staring at me this entire time and I'm like preparing myself because I know she's about to ask me. I just know it. And so she asked me, she goes, oh my God, what happened to your face? Not even in a nice way, just blunt like that. So I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna be funny. I'm gonna act like I have no idea what she's talking about. So I'm like, what do you mean? And her face dropped. She was so scared. And she goes, oh, the bruise on your face. She just keeps making it worse for herself. <laughs> And I said, oh, that's a birthmark. And she's like, oh, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, yeah. Then I left the store. And I'm just thinking, you know, you're trying to get people to buy things in your store, not chase them out. <laughs> but uh, I have lots of stories. People, the things they come up with, they actually like, they make me a new life. Like some people will come up to me and be like, oh my God, where'd you get burned? I'm like, why do you, <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> Oh, people amaze me every day. <laughs> and something with port wine things, because I remember when I was younger, people would always tell me, you don't need to get surgery. Stop getting surgery. We like your birthmark. Which, I mean, I'm thankful I, had, I knew people like that. But the reason why I get surgery, and I'm pretty sure a lot of others get surgery, it's either because they're insecure or it's because port wine stains they're the birthmarks that grow as you grow. So when I was little, well, I think when I was little it was actually bad, but as I got older, it started getting more darker because it used to be just red and pink when I was younger, but as I got older, it got so dark. So I got surgery to, you know, tone it down, not make it as noticeable. And well, my goal was to get rid of it. <laughs> And then I kind of just gave up because mine is so stubborn. It does not want to go away. So I'm stuck with it, I guess. <laughs> but it's okay. So now I'm going to use the Dermablend Loose Setting Powder. This setting powder is actually really good. This stuff is actually worth the money. So I'm just going to set that. 
And the reason why other products wouldn't work for me is because, I mean, they would cover fine, but once I added pigment in there, like blush, oh my gosh, it would ruin everything that I just did and it would bring out the pigment of my birthmark, so nothing would work. I remember going to makeup stores and I'm like, I can't cover this up. And they're like, oh, this covers up perfectly fine. And I'm just like, no, it didn't work. <laughs> like even the top high coverage things wouldn't work for me. Like it's that difficult. <laughs> I remember when I was younger, I was so insecure. I would not even leave the house without covering it up. Now I'm just like, I don't care. Like if someone makes a comment, oh well. It like, it bugs me for like the first five to 10 minutes, but then I get over it. When I was younger, it would ruin my entire day. <laughs> and I'm just gonna set my entire face. I'll never forget when I was younger, my mom and I were in Walmart and this guy comes up to her and goes, I'm like, hold on, how old was I? I think I was like seven or eight. And this guy comes up to my mom and he's like, oh my gosh, he goes, did you try to get into a fight? I'm like, I'm seven years old. It's just people are so weird. And also laser surgery is very painful and that is what a lot of people did not understand i remember one time i was in seventh grade and i told my teacher i said all my other teachers were very cool about it and i said hey i'm gonna be out for two weeks i'm getting laser surgery now laser surgery is serious a lot i guess people that knew me they didn't really take it seriously because it's just like oh you're getting it again it's still very serious and your my face it looks awful i can barely open my eye because it's all swollen my face is very sensitive i cannot go outside because of the sun you can't get the sun on your face i remember i told my teacher and she looks at me and goes do you really have to miss two weeks and i'm like what but if someone breaks their arm it's okay you know Because when you get laser surgery for two weeks, you're not allowed to go outside. Like, I mean, if you go outside, it has to be like on a porch, you can't really do anything. Um, you can't go in the sun. You cannot do any sports. You cannot get water on it. It's just, it's awful. The only good thing about it was not going to school. <laughs> that was the only benefit of it. Because if your doctor finds out you went and did your sports, you went to school, you went outside in the sun, you can get in a lot of trouble. And that's not what a lot of people did not understand. They're like, do you really have to miss? I'm like, I mean, if something, anything can happen. So, I mean, but as you can see, I applied a little bit of blush and it didn't bring out the pigment. Usually you could, like from the beginning when I started, that's literally what it would look like when I would apply blush. So this stuff is actually really good and it stays on for a long time. It's also, I think it's waterproof too. I don't know. <laughs> I remember one time I was getting laser surgery and I was like seven or eight. I was such a brat. So when they were about to put me to sleep, I did not want to do it. I was so scared. And so when they put the mask over me, I would hold my breath each time and they had to stop because I mean, I wasn't breathing. <laughs> and they're like, they literally spent like 20 minutes trying to get me, you know, to breathe. And I remember my surgeon, he came in and he was like, what are you doing? Like, what's going on? And I'm like, I don't want to do it. <laughs> That was so annoying. One of the worst things about getting surgery, I mean, the pain is awful, but it's not being able to eat. That is the worst. Ugh. I'll never forget 
the time I was in second grade. I don't know how old you are in second grade, but they always do the younger kids first and then the older kids are always last because younger kids, it's harder for them to understand why they can't eat. So since I was one of the younger kids, I was supposed to go in at eight or 9 a.m. They didn't take me until one o'clock in the afternoon and I started crying because I was so hungry and I couldn't eat. I was like, that's ridiculous. It was awful. There's been so many times where there's delays and ugh. So I am done and this is what it looks like. I definitely recommend this product. It works really good and it lasts all day too. So I'll see y'all for my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.